This video is going to compare the price and output levels of businesses which operate in perfect competition to one which operates as a monopoly. We'll start by assuming that this is looking at a perfectly competitive industry. And in this perfect competition, the equilibrium price equals PE and the equilibrium quantity equals QE. If a business tried to change, charge a higher price, consumers would just go elsewhere to buy the product because the products sold by other businesses in perfect competition are perfect substitutes for their product. So the business has no power to increase the price above this level of PE. A monopoly, however, has got some ability to charge a higher price. So let's say that all of the individual firms in this industry which we're looking at combined into one business and now they operate it as a monopoly. This one large firm could have a greater say in the price which is charged. So instead of just charging PE for all of their products, at lower output levels they would charge a higher price and at higher output levels they would charge a lower price. And what will that, that will lead to a downward sloping marginal revenue curve. So this marginal revenue curve is showing that at low levels of output there's a, a large amount of revenue received for each product but the marginal revenue, the extra revenue received for each product decreases as the quantity increases. In perfect competition, the marginal cost curve is a combination of all the supply curves of all the individual firms in that perfect competition. Now that we just have there being one firm, which is a monopoly, then all the supply curves combined together is just this supply, supply curve, and so therefore this supply curve is also the marginal cost curve. Because it is a monopoly, the business doesn't have to charge PE anymore. It can charge whatever price it wants. We know from previous diagrams that the profit maximizing level for any business is to set the price where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. If you want to understand why that is the case, you should watch the video called Marginal Cost and Marginal Revenue, which is on this channel. So under perfect competition, we had the equilibrium price of PE and the equilibrium quantity of QE. But by operating as a monopoly, we'll see that the profit maximizing level will lead to the business restricting the amount of product which it sells, which allows it to increase the price in which it sells it at. So the monopoly will sell its products at PM and sell QM of those products. So in summary, the basic difference between monopoly and perfect competition in terms of output and price is that a monopoly will produce a lower output at a higher price than it would if it was operating under perfect competition.